going to do a short video clip explaining the floating crop dividers on a CH570 vehicle. We'll go over configuring, activating, and adjusting floating crop divider system. Um, the first thing you need to do is make sure your floating crop dividers are enabled on your display. So you want to go to your second home page, go to D, floating crop dividers, and enable the left and the right, or the left or the right. You don't have to have you just have one floating crop divider enabled. So in order to activate the floating crop dividers, there's a couple different ways you can activate it. First thing you need to do is make sure the floating crop divider switch is on. Um, if you notice, the, uh, the floating crop divider icons are flashing, so that means they enable ready to be activated. So you can activate your floating crop dividers by simply pressing down on one crop divider, which puts them active. Or you can hit the all on button on the configurable button, which also will activate the crop dividers and the base cutter at the same time. If you notice they're flashing green, that means they're active, but they're in a pause mode because the machine, the vehicle is not moving forward. So once you start moving forward a little bit, they're now active. So in order to disengage your floating crop dividers, you can, uh, when they're active, uh, if you double click up on your crop dividers, they will come up to the end of the row setting and they will, and it will stay there. Or you can go to the uh, two end of the row crop divider, which would disable them and keep them up. Or you can hit all up, which will bring your crop dividers and your base cutter to end of the row. If you simply have your crop dividers active and you press your just your up button one click, the crop divider will come up. But after so many, after three seconds, it'll just go right back down. Um, so that's basically to shake a shuck off, go over a rock or whatever in the field. Just if you hit it up, it'll go up for a little while and automatically go back down. So on your crop, floating crop divider page, you can enable one. So if you see one is on standby, ready to go, the other one is off. If I click both of them, both of them are going to turn on when I double click down or hit all down. You can run on one, or just one crop divider if you're face cutting in the field and actually want to float the inner crop divider going one way and turn around and float the opposite crop divider coming back the other way. We added a little feature in there that kind of has a, a toggle. Um, so you can set up any configurable buttons to be that crop divider float or toggle. So you just click on any button you want to use. Find your floating crop divider toggle, enable it. So if I hit my button I set up, my configurable button, if you notice it switches back and forth from either your left or your right toggle. So if I'm on my uh, run page and I put my crop dividers to to float, only one's going to float, the opposite one's going to be off. down. One of them's floating. And then I come back and I hit my end of the row setting. And then I hit my toggle. It flips to the other one and then the other one's going to go into flip mode. The 
stop as everyone goes into float mode now. The next thing you need to do is set it, set your floating crop divider pressures to make sure they uh, they're riding on the ground but not digging too deep. Uh, having these uh, crop dividers pressures set correctly uh, is really important if you have a contour base cutter height control system because the floating crop dividers will uh, need to follow the ground for the contour system to work correctly. So in order to set the pressures, you want to go back to your second home page, go to D floating crop dividers. Um, so to set your uh, floating crop dividers, you can uh, simply um, hit up and down on the arrows to set your crop divider pressures. So if you bring it all the way up to 100, that would make the crop dividers lighter. If you go down towards zero, that makes them uh, the crop to bot is heavier. So it's a percentage from uh, zero to a hundred. Uh, there's an also the factory default that you can just hit that basically just centers them both at 50, uh, uh, which comes off of the calibration of the floating crop to bottles. So a way you can um, set your floating crop dividers before you actually enter the field is uh, you turn your floating crop dividers on uh, you activate them if you notice that they're still in pause mode because they're blinking green they're ready they're activated but they're, they're still in pause so you can only do this by creeping the vehicle forward a little bit to get them out of that pause mode So what I do is I take them, I lighten them up a lot, and then you take your base cutter, you run them and push the crop dividers up, and then when you uh, lift up on a vehicle, the floating crop dividers will kind of hang up. Then you can start hitting down till you see the crop dividers fall to the ground. And then I, then, then you know your crop dividers are, uh, are floating correctly. It's a good way to set it before you actually go into the field. The next thing you really want to make sure is your crop dividers are pinned correctly. Uh, this is also very important for uh, if you have contour base cutter height control. Um, I think the best way to find uh, uh, make sure your crop dividers are pinned correctly is just simply come into your uh, gauges. Uh, you want to find the crop divider position at the left. Come find the crop divider position right. And you cut cane. Uh, while you're cutting cane, if you notice that one of these is uh, Constantly hitting on zero, constantly hitting on zero, or constantly hitting a hundred. The contour base cutter height control system will not work properly. So if you, if while you cutting, if the if your left or your right is uh, going to zero or going to a hundred, you need to repin your crop dividers to where the crop dividers are uh, running in range. Uh, also, to have uh, some advanced settings if you go to the crop divider 2 page and go to your set point um, H so these are some uh, advanced settings for someone that wants to operate a little differently from the factory default um, they got these neat little buttons on the side that information pages um, so this one is a floating crop divider 
resume enable box. Uh, if you check the box, if you check to enable the resume after a pause feature or floating crop dividers. Um, basically what that means is um, if I have this box checked and my crop dividers are in flow, if my crop dividers are in flow, and like I showed you earlier, if I lift one of them up, three seconds later, the crop to bottom will fall back down. So if I come, if I go back to this page, go to two, go to my set point. If I disable this, when I lift that right crop to bottom, if I just want to want it to stay up and not go back down, I uncheck this box. So it won't go back down after a uh, time setting. So it just stays up. Um, the next, the next part of here is your uh, crop divider sensitivity. Click information, adjust the sensitivity of the floating crop divider. Sliding to the right increases increases the sensitivity. So it's just the speed at which the crop dividers are going to go up and down and ride the ground. If you happen to uh, change your crop dividers by adding weight to them or anything like that, you also have to do a crop divider calibration. Uh, you simply just go to your crop divider page. If you go to your little wrench and hit the down arrow, you can go to your uh, uh, calibrate your left crop divider position. And then what you want to do is basically calibrate your pressures left and right crop divider pressures. So if you add weight to the crop dividers or take your take your outer scroll off or add an outer scroll with a vehicle that didn't have it before or just uh, weld on it and add some type of weight. You want to go in here and run this uh, crop divider pressure. Uh, it kind of tells you as you go through it how to perform an engine needs to be at high idle and stuff like that. 